I am Catherine Raja and I'm serving as the National Director of Freedom Farm. We seek to eliminate prostitution in India to uh, see a day when prostitution is no longer existent in India. And um, we've, uh, we've taken the three-pronged approach to uh, achieve our mission and we uh, rescue young girls who have been sold into prostitution at a very young age and uh, remove them from uh, the place of prostitution, take them to a safe area, provide them with uh, all the rehabilitative care that they need and also ensure that justice is served. Uh, we do this by following up with their cases, fighting in the courts uh, of law on their behalf. Freedom Firm's work starts with the rescue. It actually starts with finding the girl. So we have investigators, young men, who are uh, committed to the Lord, committed to this work, and who really have a heart for bringing young ones out, place their lives on risk, go into these areas, go as decoy customers, look for minors. When the girl is in the, after, in the shelter home is where our work really starts to begin as in a personal relationship begins to uh, build. We do uh, group therapies and art therapy, uh, counselling, individual counselling, group counselling. We try and understand what their strengths are, what they would like to see for their future, help them build a dream. Trafficking looks very different, prostitution looks very different in different parts of India, but in the north and um, in, in the west and central part of India, northern part of India, you have designated areas called red light areas where there are brothels, uh, scores of them. The reasons why you have uh, girls be coming into the red light areas is uh, in many places there's not much employment opportunity. So young girls who have the responsibility of running uh, their homes come out of their villages hoping to find employment in the cities. Uh, the sad reality uh, for us is that our communities in India, uh, there are about uh, five, six communities that we know of in India that raise their daughters to be uh, prostitutes. Uh, our biggest challenge is uh, helping them understand that it is not their responsibility to practice prostitution and support their families. So in that, giving them an option of uh, income of earning makes a lot of difference, makes a lot of difference. Uh, the goal of our interventions when they are in their aftercare home is the day they are released, they are able to make the right choices. Whether it's uh, about a life partner, whether it's about what they do with their lives, where they live, every single decision we'd like them to make right decisions. And so that's the objective of the interventions that we do there. Uh, please pray for our investigators as they go into the red light area, day in and out, that they're able to overcome temptation, because they're really walking right into temptation. Um, pray for our uh, social workers that as they speak to the girls, there is change and uh, we we know the work has begun because we've begun sewing uh, and we also know that sometimes we'd never see the result but uh, for just strength for them to hold on to that trust uh, pray for our uh, justice work we want to see more convictions we want to see justice uh, meted out um, for traffickers to be behind bars for uh, longer sentences, we just read one article where a trafficker was given a life sentence and we'd like to see many, many, many more of those so that uh, it's really a de deterrent and we don't see more girls going into red light areas and we only see girls coming out.